Hi. Today we're going to read one of my favorite stories, The Octopuppy, by Martin McKenna. And we're going to work on this sound, J, because our octopus's name here is Jarvis. And we're going to work on finding wor this word, not. Not. Okay? It's a pretty good story. Here we go. The Octopuppy by Martin McKenna. Hmm. What is in that present? What is this? You see these and these eyes? The Octopuppy. Edgar wanted a dog. But Edgar did not get a dog. He got Jarvis. J Jarvis. Jarvis could not do anything a dog could do. But Edgar could not deny that Jarvis was clever. Ooh, he found a sign that said, Dog Show Next Week, Super Prizes. Mm. In fact, Jarvis was too clever, Edgar thought. Maybe with training, Jarvis could learn to lie down. Hmm. Well, now he's lying down, but he's just asleep. Zzz. Or maybe play dead. But Jarvis always went too far. Here he's playing dead, but he turned into a mummy. That's a little too dead. And that drove Edgar crazy. He said, no, 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 no. He's very upset. Until finally, he said, sit. And Jarvis sat. Maybe Jarvis really could be more like a dog. He said, yes! On the day of the big dog show, however, Jarvis could only be himself, and Edgar was so embarrassed. But when Jarvis decided to leave, oh no, he left a note saying, I'm sorry, I was a bad dog, love Jarvis. And he flushed himself down the toilet? Edgar knew he had been wrong. Jarvis was not a dog. He was the best octopuppy in the world. Look at these things that he can do. Save a kitten. He can serve up some sausages. He can smell things that smell good. He can help mummies if they're in the hospital. Edgar wanted Jarvis to come back, so he went to look for him. He's talking to the butcher. He's talking to the police. He's up on a boat. He put out a poster that said, Lost Octopuppy. And here he is on TV saying, I was wrong. He was my friend. It's a lot of work. But Jarvis was nowhere to be found. He could not be found. Oh, Jarvis, I'm sorry I was so horrible. Please come home. He's talking into the toilet. And his message goes down here, pass it on, Jarvis, come home. Here he gets to this snail, Jarvis, come home, pass it on. Down all these pipes, Jarvis, come home, pass it on. Jarvis, come home, pass it on. Is Jarvis going to get this message? I don't know. Keeps going. Ooh, an alligator in the pipes. Jarvis, come home, pass it on. And the fish here, and this crawdad here. Jarvis, come home. Pass it on. And this, what is that? Seahorse. 
And the jellyfish, both of them say, Jarvis, come home, pass it on. And finally, it comes out here and the message goes from the crab, Jarvis, come home, pass it on to this fish. And guess who heard it? Well, that was all that Jarvis needed to hear. There's his suitcase and there is Jarvis. Ah, big hug. Welcome home, Jarvis. There they go. All right, that was a good story. I hope you liked it. See you next time.